Just over a year ago, Mike came to me with a project from Graham. It was a 10-acre piece of property that was a farm from back in 1914. He was interested in having me break the lot in half, remove all the old buildings, and then build two houses in their place. The first step was to demolish the existing buildings, which was a pretty substantial feat. Our plan was to get a building permit to build a house on the front lot at the same time that we were applying for the short plat. And if all went well, the short plat would be complete about the same time the house was completed. The building permit was issued and we were able to start the construction of the new house in October. I'm just finishing up the front house and they're telling me that the short plat should be ready in a week or two, which will allow me to apply for permits to build a house on the back lot. It's a 3,100-square-foot house with a three-car garage and a full-size RV garage. Here you can see the office in the background and 12-foot ceilings on the entry and formal dining room. Here I designed a mudroom to actually be functional, to where you can have a place to sit down and take off your shoes, put them on the shoe rack, and hang up your coat before going into the house. The master bathroom has heated floors, and if you look at the reflection in the mirror to the right, you'll see that the master shower has dual controls and rain shower heads. It also has his and hers walk-in closets. Jacob showed up today to get pictures for the listing, so it'll be on the market next week for $650,000.